Hey, how are you doing? Okay, the other day I was uh, raving about Kunaki, wasn't I? And uh, what I wanted to do was actually sh kind of show you through the entire process step by step because I was doing it all from a handheld camera. It probably looked a little bit dodgy, but this is just absolutely tremendous. Check this out. What I've got here, let's just see here, is um, on my taskbar here. Um, when you go to kunaki.co.uk, you can download the CD DVD publishing software. Okay, It's just a program that you download that walks you step by step through the process of getting your products made. Really, really cool. Um, you read through the instructions there, press the green button. Okay, So you press the green button. Then you choose your product type. Can you see that? Audio, video, game, or data, other. Now in this instance, for my monthly Distance Persuasion Consortium program, I put the video file on there as a data file so that it can easily be lifted off the disk, put onto iPods, stuff like that. Um, then, do you want to add a UPC barcode? And if you want to find out more about that, you can click on here. In this instance, no, I don't want a barcode. And then you put the title. In this instance, it's uh, Consortium. You can tell I can't type and talk at the same time here. And I'm going to get some copies of Volume 1 runoff. Original release date, unimportant. The only fields you absolutely have to fill in are the ones in bold. The publisher is jameslavers.com. And then we hit the green button. <clears throat> now this is where you can choose an auto design where Kunaki kind of does it for you or you can do your own custom design. Now in this instance, I'm going to go for a custom design. Okay. And then it says click the question mark up here. You can just see where my cursor is for artwork dimensions. Now I already know what the artwork dimensions are. Okay. But if you want more info about that, you simply click up here. <clears throat> and I believe it opens up, yeah, here we are, opens up a page in Windows Explorer that talks you through examples. So what it's got here is example information for an audio product, example information for a video product, for a game product, and for a, a data product, okay? And then what it has is all the dimensions that your images need to be um, for them to fit basically okay and it gives you an example of the template which is cool okay you follow so far so if you need that help which I did the first time round then you simply open that up <clears throat> now I'm not creating a CD uh, jewel case here I'm creating a DVD so I'm going to switch it to DVD and the case is DVD as well and there's my DVD case okay and then what I did was I actually let me open up Photoshop and I'll show you what I did. I created based upon the measurements that it gave me, uh, those dimensions that it gave me. I use Photoshop for creating all my kind of digital artwork, whatever it is. So I simply came to um, uh, I came to Photoshop, created my file here. That's the file for my DVD cover, right? So once you've got that, you then save it as a JPEG. So whatever whatever photo manipulation software you use, you can usually save as. Okay, and then you just, in Photoshop, I pick, uh, oh, actually, it's 16-bit at the moment, so JPEG isn't an option. But uh, you could, <laughs> in this instance, I love it when it play comes together. In this instance, I would convert the image to uh, an 8-bit image. Where do I do that? Oh, here we are. So I'd go 8 bits per channel rather than 16 bits per channel. And that simply just converts uh, the image there for you. And then I'd save as, this is if you're using Photoshop, save as a JPEG. All right. And then I would save that as whatever. Now, I'm not going to do it here because uh, I've already done it. But that's what I did. I created my covers. <clears throat> and then it asks you, you browse for the file. So my disk print. So what do I want printed on my disk? Okay, so I've already got here a file, you might be able to see that, uh, for the disk cover there. Okay, so that's my file for the cover of the disk. Then the case cover, so I'm going to browse for the case cover. It's three images basically, there's my cover. And look, in real time it puts it on the case view, which is really, really cool. And then you've got a case insert. And there's my case, my DVD case insert. And then 
Look at this, real time. It crunches for a couple of seconds. And then, watch this. This is what I love so much about Kanaki, right? So there's the cover of my disc. I'm going to open it up, look inside. Ooh, very nice. There's my DVD insert. There's the actual DVD itself. I keep my stuff pretty minimal. <laughs> but obviously, your design will look as uh, you know spanking new as you want it to. Then you can rotate the case around, look at it from the back, look at it from the side. There's the spine of the case. Look at it from all angles. And then when you're, when you're happy with that, and you're ready to go on to the next step, you just click the green arrow button up here. <clears throat> and then what you need to do is you need to burn the file that you want to um, that you want to uh, put on that disc onto a DVD. And this is where Kanaki is different from a lot of the other kind of uh, companies that do this. They literally take a bit-for-bit -bit copy of your disc, even the geography of the disc. So what I mean by that is if you're... Uh, DVD minus R disc, for example, has got a scratch on it. Kanaki will even copy the scratch. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's a perfect copy as you want it because Kanaki literally takes an exact replica of your disc. Okay, so then I select Drive E, <clears throat> the file will come up here. You select your file, okay, and then you click the next button, all right, and then you save your product to file. Okay, so you save it as an as an executable file. I've already done this, so I'm going to kind of like skip on. When you do that, um, it will allow you to run it. Let me just open up the uh, the one that I made earlier. Here we go. Here it is. It creates a master copy for you. Basically, it does a light, uh, an exact copy of the f of the disc for you, and then you publish it. Okay, so it'll say this is the master copy, and it'll show it to you. You can have a look around it. You can have a look in it, and then you publish the file. You'll have a, your your, uh, your own email and password. If you don't yet, if you're not yet a member of Kanaki, so to speak, you can be a new publisher and register your details here. Okay, now my details are already already in, so I just click publish, and then what happens is. <laughs> this product has already been delivered to our facility. What happens is it will upload the information. Now, in this instance, it's three gigabytes of information. Okay, uh, it doesn't matter whether you turn your computer off, whether you have to reboot. You just keep coming back, rerun the executable file that you've saved on your system, and then eventually, in this case, it took two days. It will upload the file. Now, what I can do is I can go to my Kunaki uh, account online and get some of these copies sent to me. So that's what we'll do next. That's what we'll do in the next video. Uh, that's it from this video. Let me just... Uh, <laughs> now I need to stop the recording. But uh, join me on the next video, and I'll show you how you go online to your Kanaki account and get some copies ordered and sent to you. All right, see you in the next video.